welcome back to Tony North Eastern and um, we're over here at Tyne Dock um, what you see in front of you is the signal box and a signal just in front of it um, which has just recently been wired up to the um, control panel so we're going to be looking at that today and also we're going to be looking at how to keep your layout tidy um, I don't know if you noticed but as I've been going around putting the signals in the station here at Tyne Dock looks a bit messy um, it's got dust on it and bits and pieces that have fallen down from somewhere I don't know where because we're up in the loft but it's just generally there's a lot of grime on the station area and dust starting to build up on the buildings. So we're going to have a look at those two things today the mimic switches and keeping your layout tidy. Right we're over here at the control panel and I just want to show you the two mimic switches I've installed. One here just before the main junction going into Newhouse and one here over a time dock um, I'm going to explain a little bit more about these mimic switches um, at the moment so we'll just have a quick look inside the control panel and show you how um, they are wired up okay um, here's my eco supply which I've taken directly from the buzz bar that runs around the layout and, and I've divided it up into six possible um, switches and the cable coming in directly from the switches is only a single cable and it's up here on the mimic switch there if you can just make it out uh, where is it? there as you can see the green light is illuminated so the white cable is coming directly from the signal and the black and red has come from the ECOS and uh, that's how it's installed it's quite simple the rest of it is done by this little gadget here and that's the setting switch you press that to set it if you're running it automatically rather than um, doing it manually like I have right as you can see uh, this is the feathered signal that was uh, illuminated showing that the line ahead there's a train on it so if we follow the track round now round the layout under the bridge and there it is it's, although the signal is on green over there let's just zoom in the train has not passed it yet so once it goes past that signal it will go red and it will tell me that the next section of track from then on there will be a train on it so let's go and demonstrate it at the control panel so as you can see at the switch here on the control panel it is green so when the train moves off and goes past it it will illuminate red and it will also tell me at the next section of track there's a train on it and there she is there and when it goes past that signal there signal will illuminate red which it has done and come back to the control panel and it's illuminated red here at the control panel now then while that's on green I can flick the switch to red and the signal 
will go red. And here we are, the signal has gone red. Now there's nothing to stop the train going through. Um, it'll just stay red. It won't change the sequence of the other signals, if that makes sense. So I'm not going to bother stopping the train. So it's going to go through the red light, which is a big no-no. So let's go and see what's done on the control panel. Now then, on the control panel, it has indicated that a train has gone through the red light. And now there's a train on that section. Which I think is quite cool. So if I flick that back to green, but that will only work when it goes through the next signal. Well, it's gone through that signal, but it hasn't changed. Ah, there you go, it's gone back to green. So now this mimic switch is back in sequence. So I will now flick the switch to green, so it's permanently on green, and we shall see what happens. Right, so the signal has gone red. Okay, you have um, three positions on the switch. You can either go red, and it'll flash red to let you know the signal's on red. Neutral, which means it'll run in circuit with the rest of the signals on the layout on that um, section of track. Or you can have green, and the signal will stay on green. But then again, it will turn to red once the train has gone past. So it's clever, very clever. So the same goes for this mimic switch over at Time Dock. Three positions. At the moment it's in the central position which keeps it in sync with the rest of the signals. And if I wanted to I could change, flick that over to that side. It still shows green but the feather being illuminated with the switch being pushed forward but it's on a, a warning yellow because the train has just gone through the red signal um, further down the line. So it's all very clever stuff. Oh, it's just changing back to green. So obviously it's gone through another signal. There you go, it's just changed back to green. So you can set the switches to however you want them, um, obviously it won't stop the train um, automatically, um, but yeah, see that that's just gone out because it's on the next section of track now, which is coming into the station, and there it is. So yeah, it won't stop the train, but it's that they're clever in letting you know where the train is and um, how they work. Okay, here we have an example how I've actually wired it up um, underneath the baseboard. As you can see, the three grey cables go to the signal on the other side of the baseboard. The centre white one goes back to the um, control panel and the wire, wire to the left and right go to in opposite directions linking up to the signals further on um, down the line and, um, which is quite simple to um, wire up so that's a brief insight to how 
these work and how they're wired up. And I um, hope it's been an interest to you. And as we move on to the other subject, keeping your layout tidy. Just one thing before we move on. See this little um, cabinet here, the electrician's cabinet. Um, if you go to Duncan Merchant's channel, he'll show you how to make these out of the um, three pin plug and protectors because that's how I made that one. Um, thank you for that tip, Duncan, and as you can see, I have put it to good use. Okay, here we are back at Time Dock. Um, as some of you know, um, the station has been on this layout for at least uh, about two or three years now, and it is getting really, really grimy. Um, there's dust, um, bits of ballast, where I've probably been cleaning the track, and so basically, for the next few minutes. I'm just going to tidy this up. So, as you know, I do not glue my little friends um, down onto the platform. And you can see why now. Because you can just pick them up and move them out the way. Mm. Right, as you can see, I have removed all the figures from the platforms. And uh, so what I'll do now is I'll just, um, oh come on Sid and Ben, hey, I know it's your station mate, but come on, got to clean it up. So yeah, as I was saying, you can see the grime even more so now. So a brush, it's a very loose brush, it's not, and the bristles are very very fine. So I'm doing, just going to brush. Lightly, you can see the dust actually coming off there now. Look. Brush it all off the building onto the tracks. That's it, just brush it all onto the tracks. It only takes a few minutes. And off the main station as well. Right, so now it, all the dust is gone, it's looking 100% better already. And obviously, you don't want the trains to come along and pick up the grime on their wheels. So I'll just get a little hoover and then just pick up all the dust. And then with my trusty cloth, give the tracks a bit of a wipe while I'm at it. Right, then I put... And then I shall reopen the station. Nay nee, lad, you're not going to open the station. I'm the station master around here. I'll open the station. Okay, Sid. So you can open the station. Right, as you can see, it looks totally different. But the same, if you know what I mean. Okay, that's the upper level done. Time dock, and um, at some point I shall get round to doing the lower level. Um, as you can see, there's dust and grime here as well. Um, well, the layout is coming up to over four years old now. Um, even some of my locos are looking a bit um, dusty. Um, so it's never ending, keeping it up together. So, I hope you've enjoyed what you've seen. And I shall see you again next time. Bye for now. Bye. <laughs>